Dude, I think he's dead. Princeton! <laughs> Love you, buddy. Hello, everyone. Julia here, and today is a very special day because we are doing a gear haul. Hello, we've been getting so many requests, and we decided, hey, why not do it? So, uh, please enjoy our service dog wardrobe. Okay, let's get into it. So my first uh, thing I want to show you is Princeton's One Tigress. So this is probably the one I use the most. It's just a One Tigress and I put Amazon patches on it. Um, and this is, everything on here is from Amazon except this. This is from Etsy. Um, what am I doing? Okay, so this is a, obviously a patch tab. I love this because it matches a lot of his gear and I just use it uh, for you know, it's more visible, you know, so people will, you know, F off. Because <laughs> a lot of, or businesses at least, you know. Um, it looks really professional and I really like it. Um, yeah, and I love these Amazon patches. I know they're pretty, you know, basic because everyone has these patches, but I love them. <laughs> so next, I want to show you Princeton's My Favorite Pull Strap. So this is my favorite pull strap that I own. Um, I love it because it's hard, like not hard, but like it's like tough. So it's, it's obviously used for grounding. Princeton's not two yet. He's not cleared for guide or FPM. So I'm like not doing that, but I do use it for grounding when I dissociate in, you know, and so this really helps because the tactile sensation, it feels kind of grounding. So next I'm going to show you my favorite vest of all time. I don't use it as much as the one tigress, but that's because um, the One Tigress is a little more... I don't know why I use the One Tigress more. I should use this one more. But basically, this is my vest from Patchwork and Paws. I know it's pretty beat up because I haven't washed it in a while. But um, it's beautiful. It's going to last forever because it's so well made. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I do have to wash it. But it's beautiful. The print is so crisp. And when I first got it, it was even prettier because it wasn't dirty. But yeah. So yeah, I do need to wash this. Um, it's been in my closet for a long time. So yeah. And then on the front, it says psychiatric and medical response canine. Um, another reason I use the One Tigress more is because I'm able to put the in training on it because Princeton is still in training. So sometimes I don't feel comfortable labeling him as a, like a service dog because I, it, I know legally I can, but if just in case he makes a mistake by chance, I want to have training packs just so people know like, hey, he's still in training. So yeah, and then my next masterpiece is this harness from Becca and Raven. So it's beautiful, obviously. I put this patch on there myself. I don't even remember who made this patch, but uh, I got it a long time ago. It's pretty beat up, but it's it works. Um, obviously, I don't use this for guide yet, um, but I do put it on him for desensitization. Also, if um, in the case where I am dissociation bleh, dissociating um, because that does happen because you guys know I have dissociative identity disorder so that happens a lot um, and uh, so I use that I just hold on to the handle but it eventually he'll hopefully be doing guy tasks so when um, when I dissociate or one of my alters dissociates will be able to uh, Princeton will be able to guide us out of um, wherever we are if it's not an appropriate place to dissociate, you know? So yeah, this is uh, one of my favorites. I just love the color combo. I think it's beautiful. And then, um, oh, by the way, guys, uh, there will be a video coming out about dissociative identity disorder because it's not a very commonly talked about disorder. And I want to let you guys know about it because it's kind of complicated. It's a complicated, it's a complex trauma disorder. So it's very, very misunderstood. And so I want to do a video on that so you guys kind of understand, you know, you understand what it is. So yeah. Um, and then we have this is also Becca and Raven. Um, it is a CV handle harness. Um, obviously, again, I do not use this for any kind of mobility, just grounding. Um, and yeah, so that is, this is probably my favorite harness. I love the other one, but this one just, I don't know, the color, weird ass truck outside, sorry. Um, the colors just look better on Princeton. They both look great on Princeton, obviously. Everything looks good on Princeton, no, I'm kidding. But this one, especially the colors pop, and I love it. So yeah, well guys, that is actually all the gear I have to show you. I have a bunch of patches, but I can't find them right now, so whoops. Um, but that is all I have. I'm hopefully gonna be getting 
Um, once Princeton is cleared for light mobility, we're going to be getting a bridge port. Um, but that's not for a few months, you know? And uh, hopefully going to be getting some new vests soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll do another gear haul. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!